During year one of the Bits to Bytes project, two crews of high school age youth were hired. They spent the first part of the year building relationships and connections with their teammates in the local food justice community. Team building was needed to ensure that the youth had a sense of belonging and felt rooted with the project. To understand food justice issues and become more immersed in the local food justice movement, youth attended community events. During this year, they were also introduced to Scratch, Lego Weedoo, and Makey Makeys to build comfort and confidence in computational thinking tools. The year culminated with Bits to Bytes youth leading a How to Build a Computer Game workshop for Urban 4-H youth at the University of Minnesota. Year 2 focused on learning mid-level computational thinking tools and about the challenges and opportunities our food system presents. Crew 1 started the year by creating sensor bots, robots powered by Arduinos, which are programmable microcontrollers. At the end of the project, youth got to battle with their sensor bots. After that, Crew 1 moved on to learning about aquaponics, a sustainable way to grow fish and plants in the same system. They incorporate their newfound Arduino knowledge by programming and wiring a system that would automatically monitor the pH level of the fish tank and turn the pumps on and off throughout the day to water the plants. Crew 1 led a workshop for an outside organization developing aquaponic systems that integrate Arduinos to monitor its basic functions. Crew 2 focused on creating many different types of growing systems. Aeroponics, hydroponics, outdoor community gardens, and even composting. They taught youth in the Timbuktu Explore the Arts After School program how to take care of these systems. By year three, youth were integrating tools used by STEM professionals and engaging community to address food justice issues. Crew One partnered with Frogtown Farm, which serves as a hub for health and a connection to nature with the Frogtown community. After a youth-led data collection process with the community, youth decided to create an app which utilized Google Maps to help the Frogtown residents and others easily locate fresh local food in the Frogtown community. Crew 2 partnered with the St. Paul Public High School and an after-school program. They identified the issue of access to healthy school lunches as relevant to them. They collected data from local youth through a mobile survey that developed capturing the high school lunch experience. They led a series of workshops for local youth which included curriculum and activities teaching alternative growing systems, food justice, and introductory level computer programming skills. In year four of the project, both crews explored how to make their work more entrepreneurial as a way to sustain the project when the grant was done. Crew One worked on an outreach plan to incentivize Frogtown residents to download and use the mobile FAM app. They worked with the Frogtown Neighborhood Association and Business Association to create a plan on how to ask business owners to promote the FAM app by offering coupons to their businesses through the app. They also created a music video to promote the app. It's F F A M Frogtown Food Access Map. If you want to find healthy resources, all you gotta do is download this app. Crew One disseminated their app knowledge by planning and facilitating an overnight hackathon. This 24-hour event challenged teens to create an app on crews to address a social justice issue. The winning team presented their app at the Science Museum's Youth Science Day, and each team member won $25. Crew 2 sold seedlings grown from their hydroponic systems at the Science Museum of Minnesota. They also created healthy alternative snacks based on the school lunch survey responses they received. This led to the development of a 10-step business plan for their indoor food production systems, which they will use to fund their work in the future. Both crews ended the project with a final celebration at the Science Museum of Minnesota, reporting out what they did in their final year. Friends, family members, project partners, and advisors were invited to this celebration. The highlight of this event was the dinner which was cooked by Crew 2 and mostly sourced from their produce grown in their hydroponic system.